Well, hey friends, it's Natalie. So glad you stopped by to hang out with me today while I do some spring cleaning and decorating around this place. I love making this sort of video on my channel and I hope you enjoy getting some cleaning and decluttering motivation. I'm sharing with you a DIY wreath project that I did as well as a haul of some of the stuff that I thrifted, some antique slash vintage finds. I love keeping it simple in my house and nice little eclectic or like one of a kind pieces is how I love to decorate for the season. So I'm excited to share all of that with you throughout this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it while you're watching it. Drop this emoji in the comments so that I can get down there and chat with you guys a bit more. But let's rewind it a couple of days ago where I started in the kitchen to give it a nice spring clean. If you're working with me today, I hope that you get some encouragement and some gentle motivation from this video. I want you to know, especially if you're new here, this is a very peaceful, judgment-free zone. And so if your fridge looks as bad as mine, I mean, just wait and see what I pulled out of my fridge today. But I want you to know you're not alone if stuff gets bad around your house. And we actually don't need to end up with a perfectly good looking Pinterest worthy house at the end of our spring cleaning. I just wanna make a little bit of progress today. And I hope you enjoy being in my little pressure free corner of the internet. I am so glad that you are here. Okay, the fridge is done. It's definitely not Pinterest worthy, but very few things in my life really are. Done is better than perfect, progress over perfection. But just in case you wanted to see what I pulled out to throw away, um, I didn't finish this kombucha, that's from a few weeks ago. This cheese I got at our local organic food co-op and I am a cheese girl, but this it just was not good. Um, so I am passing on that. I think there's only just like a little bit left. Yeah, see, just that left. I mean, why are we putting things away? Like, why don't we just use that last couple of tablespoons and save ourselves the room in the fridge? Things I ask myself. And then I need to make a new batch of our cold brew. I actually have a blog post where I shared how I make my cold brew coffee. So I will link that below for you guys. And last but not least is this beef stew that I made a couple of months ago. I wanna say I made this around New Year. Um, and look at this, we have a science experiment growing in it. <laughs> Ooh, is that so gross? What's it fuzzy? That's mold. Mold gets super fuzzy. <laughs> Thank you. You too can leave stew in your fridge for months and then call it a homeschool lesson. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was feeding my sourdough starter this morning. I didn't realize that I kind of made a mess. <laughs> anyway, getting that fridge taken care of feels so good. I'm gonna move on to cleaning the oven. That needs to be done. Fun fact, the last time I cleaned my oven was literally on camera for you guys before Christmas. We've done little like, oh, let's scrape up the like melted cheese and make sure that we don't have like a, a fire hazard going on, but I have not scrubbed it down in months. And I've been doing so much like bread baking and stuff in there, it drives me crazy every time I see it. So I'm gonna do that now. That will feel so good.
I just found our catchphrase game. If you know, you know. Would you be here in the fall? In the long December? Pull me closer. See, this town is full. So much. And now for the beautiful wipe down. Uh, did you know that the beautiful letdown from Switchfoot turned 20 years old last week? I will leave you with that depressing thought while I wipe this entire kitchen down. You're never gonna come The kitchen smells and looks so fresh and clean right now. It makes me so happy. I'm just putting this little tray back together because I moved it. And I guess I will indulge in a little bit of spring decorating right now before all the cleaning is done. I've been learning more about like simple pleasures in the midst of doing work. And I found these dried, I don't, what kind of flowers are these? Are these sweet peas? They look live, like they look so vibrant and, and full of life, but they are actually dried. Um, and I thought that they would go perfect. I bought two bunches of them. Um, I found them at my local food co-op where I found that cheese that I didn't end up liking, but I do like these. How stinking beautiful. Oh, I love a good bright pink accent, especially this time of the year. So very happy with how the kitchen turned out, but we are not done with the cleaning and decluttering. I'm gonna pick the camera up tomorrow for another project. I just want to show you guys the reality. Like I've been working for a little over an hour here and wow, what a difference. But you wanna see the reality of what my dining room table looks like right now? <laughs> Definitely a hot mess. That's not necessarily a spring cleaning job. That's kind of like an everyday job, but I will see you tomorrow for some more spring cleaning. Hello, hello. It's day two and I'm gonna keep this spring clean train a rolling. I am working here in the main bedroom and bathroom, doing some decluttering, tidying, cleaning. I've got some just like general tasks as well as more seasonal tasks, kind of like I did in the kitchen yesterday. And then I'm gonna be working in our living room. And I have some things on my heart right now about spring cleaning, uh, what you see on social media, the change of seasons in general, that I just thought I would share some of my thoughts with you um, as I get to work here. So I'm going to pop you up on the tripod, start working in this room and uh, share with you a little bit more. comments, I would love to know what spring cleaning means for you. For me, it's much less about a checklist of things that I want to deep clean and scrub down and organize and much more about using the new season as an excuse to just get a little bit extra done during my daily or weekly cleaning projects. I don't know about you guys, but honestly, I personally get a bit overwhelmed by spring cleaning content on YouTube or wherever you consume content. It just feels a little bit too daunting and a little bit too much for me to handle. And while I know those videos are made with the best of intentions and I'm not throwing any shade at other creators. For me personally, the way my brain and heart works, I just need little bits at a time, uh, digestible, accessible, little tasks that I can do to go the extra mile a bit. And so today, as I'm cleaning my bedroom and bathroom and living room, I'm doing things that I would typically do in like daily or weekly cleaning tasks. And I'm just doing a little extra. So as I'm making my bed here, 
I'm going to take a minute to wipe down my headboard. Normally I don't do this weekly. I do clean my sheets weekly, but not this extra part. And honestly, I've kind of just told myself if it takes less than a minute to do, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. Um, I wiped down the windows here in my bedroom and decided to open them up and let some fresh air in. It's not as bitterly cold outside as it has been in the last couple of weeks. So it was nice to let that breeze in and not absolutely freeze my butt off while I was working in my bedroom and in my bathroom. Normally I wipe down my mirrors, but I decided, hey, it's gonna take me less than a minute. I think it took me like 30 seconds to wipe down the window in the bathroom as well. So no matter how you feel about the change of seasons or spring cleaning in general, I hope that you will enjoy the next several videos on my channel. I'm starting a new mini series here that is called Spring Forward. And it's just a way for us to sort of align our hearts and our minds toward welcoming in the new season, very similar to the back to fall series that I do as we approach this, the beginning of the fall season. This Spring Forward series is to sort of help us peacefully say goodbye to the winter and all that it held for us and to like fully embrace the change and the new season that we're headed into. And for those of you in the Southern Hemisphere, I hope that your transition from the summer into your fall time goes well. And for all of us, whether we choose to be super productive, like some of these cleaning videos that we see, or we need to take a little bit extra time to rest and recharge, I hope that this series will be a blessing to you and that you'll get some encouragement and some gentle motivation from it. So I hope to see you back here for more. And somewhere along the way in this Spring Forward series, I'm going to be making a very special, exciting announcement so you'll not want to miss it. So be sure you're subscribed with the bell button turned on. And if all else fails, just know that I post every Tuesday at 7 a.m. Pacific time. I could die happy knowing my kitchen and my bedroom are clean. That's why I always start in the kitchen. Um, and like second to that is my bedroom. Those two spaces are highest priority for me for my mental health. And it feels so nice to get that clean, get my bathroom clean. I still have to launder that shower curtain. Uh, the sheets for in here are finishing up but I wanted to show you what I decluttered out. Thinking about switching my sheet set out to this white one, but it just has so many <laughs> like um, self tanner stains on it that I, I don't want to use it anymore. I think white sheets are a thing of the past for me, just with kids and all of that. Um, and then in the spring and summertime, I do like my self tanner. So I'm gonna pass that on to an animal shelter. We've got garbage from the garbage can in the bathroom. And then I just found some products that I made my way through, some dry shampoo, a body scrub, and then I refilled our hand soap. This is my favorite scent for the springtime. It's the peony scent from the Mrs. Myers line. And it smells like a hotel that we've vacationed in. And it reminds me of it every time, but that's done and it's time to declutter this out. Oh, and let's take a little peek around the corner here. Oh, the living room is next. And for this job, I'm gonna enlist the help of the kids who are ultimately the ones who made the mess in here. There is a time and a place as a mom to just get the job done yourself. But there's also a time and a place to teach your kids some personal responsibility of cleaning up after themselves and maybe going the extra mile for some spring cleaning. Okay, the kids did a pretty stinking good job out here in the living room. I just have some detailing and decluttering to do. And I'm going to get to these cabinets here under the TV. I just recently did a whole declutter and reorganization in this room. So I'm just gonna go in and do a little, a little audit of the different spaces, the chaise, chaises in the couch and then our cabinets here and give everything a, 
a good wipe down and call it spring cleaning. Oh, look at that. We're gonna be reading this one soon. For St. Patrick's Day, it's almost here. I need you to get on your little bellies and find the stuff that's right there under the couch. I see calico critters. Your bellies, let's go. Ooh, look, an iPad. My iPad, I wonder where that was. dusting is done. Thank you guys for your help. I appreciate it. You're welcome, mom. You're welcome. <laughs> now would be a good time to mop, but I think I'm gonna save that for my very last thing. I like to have it be the very last thing that I do. Um, and I have some decorating that I want to do, which is what I'm gonna do when I pick up the camera tomorrow. But right now I have a couple of loads that are finishing up. I'm going to make the bed, rehang the shower curtain, and then I think I'm ready to call it a day. So the day after I filmed all that cleaning, honestly, I was not feeling like doing a lot of decorating. The weather outside was quite damp and gloomy and it was kind of dark and, and dreary in the house. We even got some snow the first week of March, which hardly ever happens where we live. And I just wasn't feeling quite ready. Don't worry, later on in this video, I am doing some decorating, so you can stay tuned for that. I eventually got into the mood, um, but I just needed to get out. So I packed up the kids. We went to Skagit Valley here in Washington and went to a food co-op, had lunch together. We went to a couple of thrift stores, an antique store, and went on the hunt for some fun vintage little knickknacks and things that we could put in our home for the springtime. 
I'll do a haul for you guys in a bit. Um, but then when we got home, I was feeling super inspired to try my hand at a DIY dried floral wreath for the springtime for my front door. Uh, my inspiration for this completely came from Allison, who's here on YouTube. I will link her video in the description box where I got this inspiration from. I just love her channel so much and I love this wreath that she made for her front door. And I remembered that I had some dried flowers on hand that I had had from years ago. I had this grapevine wreath that I had thrifted years ago and used in our old house. And then I picked up a couple of extra things while I was out with the kids. And together we were able to sit and watch the rain pour down and work on this wreath. We talked about our goals and some stuff we would like to do, some travel plans that we have for the springtime. We also reflected back on this last winter season and our favorite parts, our least favorite parts that we just lived through and just being able to work with my hands and create something and work on it with the kids and have that great conversation really helped put me more into the mood of doing a little bit of decorating with you guys. how this wreath turned out. It is so beautiful. It gives me like that cottage core fairyland sort of feeling with these little paper mache mushrooms. I can't wait to get this on my front door and to do a little bit more decorating and sprucing up around the house for springtime. If I wasn't in the mood before, I definitely am now. We woke up to a beautiful blue sky, sunny day. It's definitely starting to feel a little bit more like springtime around here. And all that cleaning that I did before and watching Allison's video is just motivating me and inspiring me to keep going throughout the house and, and spruce it up a little bit. So I wanna show you some of the stuff that I got from the thrifting that we did. We visited an antique shop that was so much fun. The kids and I had a blast, but oh my gosh, my anxiety was so high walking through that store. There are so many valuable, fragile things in there. And we were just like trying to keep our hands to ourselves, and, you know, not wrestle our brother in the aisle. I am happy to say nothing got broken. We left there with a nice little haul of items. And I just love going to thrift stores or shopping vintage items to find really unique sort of um, one of a kind pieces like this vase. This is, they had a label on each one of these items that kind of explained what it was. And this is a hand blown vintage bud vase. Look at this beautiful green color. Like, isn't that gorgeous? I have a couple of more dried flowers actually that I can pop into there. Oh, and then we found look at these little bunnies. Aren't these so precious? I feel like a lot of modern decor, like when they have bunnies for springtime, they're really like plump and, and squat. These ones are just so vintagey and unique with this sort of elongated look. They have this beautiful like painting and almost like a pearlescent, opalescent glaze. Um, speaking of bunnies, I also found this little plaque. This is Benjamin Bunny and Peter Rabbit from Beatrix Potter. It's just too cute to pass up. Oh, and then these, oh gosh, I love these. Look at these wooden, little um, Easter eggs that I found. These are beautiful. They have little materials and beads and like mother of pearl inlaid into the wood to create these beautiful patterns and they're carved a bit. These are just so fun and I feel like, I mean, there's a time and a place for Target decor or wherever you like to shop for like more modern decor. Um, but I feel like a lot of the time it lacks this texture and character. There's not a lot of patterns out there right now. Everything is quite just 
plain. And again, there's a time and a place for that. I have plenty of those items and I shop at Target sometimes for home decor, but that's why one of the reasons why I like to shop for vintage or thrifted stuff is because you can find those unique pieces that have a lot of character that aren't like mass produced to piece in with those more uh, plainer, more modern pieces. And that's kind of my decor style, how I like to do things around here. Like we have a pretty modern kitchen, but then we piece more eclectic or vintage looking things into it. Like this picture, oh my goodness, I have been on the hunt, like the absolute quest to find a green earthenware pitcher with like detailing and like carve, just this. I've been looking for this, this exact thing. This is actually the first thing that I picked up when we were in the antique store. I was like, that? That's it? That's what I've been searching eBay and going into thrift stores and antique shops to find, and I found it. I wanted one of these uh, to put my cooking utensils in next to the stove. I feel like a nice little pop of green right there. Um, in our kitchen is just going to be such a beautiful addition. I actually have a, a picture that goes above my stove, like on the backsplash, that has this same sort of color in it, and I think that would pick it up beautifully and this is perfect. I was so happy and I think this was like $7. Something else that I picked up at the antique store was just this little miniature like dollhouse piano. Haley is obsessed. Actually, all three kids love playing with calico critters right now. It's the latest thing in our home and I thought this piano would be cute. Also picked her up. We found a hobby horse, like a vintage wooden hobby horse, which was adorable. And the kids all have been enjoying playing with that inside the house as we've like kind of been waiting for better weather to be able to play outside, but thankfully the sun is here. That is my little thrifted vintage haul for you guys. I hope you enjoyed that. And now it's time to find homes for these items, set them out, do a little bit of decorating and styling and arranging, starting with getting this wreath on the front door. Oh, I love how this turned out. Il me que ce matin le soleil Peine à colorer le ciel Voudrait prolonger les vacances Partir en convalescence I love it, it's perfect, it's exactly what I was looking for and I think it just really completes this little spot here and this green is perfect for the springtime. It is a gorgeous day outside right now and I'm just filled with so much hope and so much anticipation for the new season. I stepped outside and saw buds just exploding on all of the branches of all of the bushes outside and the trees. There's definitely a little bit of warmth in the breeze. It's not as biting when you walk outside. Um, and actually right now I have someone on their way to clean our windows of this house. I've never had my windows professionally cleaned. He's gonna do the outside and the inside. I didn't realize that I booked both. Um, so I guess the kids helping me clean the, the inside of the windows the other day was maybe a little bit of a waste of time, but at least, at least they got to practice their skills. When we've cleaned the outside of our windows, it's just been the big windows here in the dining room, kitchen, like homeschool room area, and then our big front window. But all of the other rooms of the house and all the other windows haven't been touched and they are grimy. So the window washer is on his way. I have some more decorating to do and I'll probably get to mopping these floors while he's here to be able to just finish up some spring cleaning for this video and to leave it on a really sparkly, bright, sunny note. Loin du tarmac, je fais durer ces quelques notes d'été. 
Et toi, sous ton chapeau de paille, tu ris et tu joues avec un éventail te fichant de la fin de l'été. Tu t'impatientes déjà de la rentrée. Les nuits sont douces, à l'abri du vent, sur mon hamac, loin du tarmac, je fais durer ces quelques notes d'été. Et toi, sous ton chapeau de paille, tu ris et tu joues, avec un éventail te fichant de la fin de l'été. Tu t'impatientes déjà de la rentrée. It looks so amazing. It smells amazing in here. My little spring cleaning heart is happy. These windows are so sparkly. Well, what do you know? We can see out our window. Wow, it looks nice, really doesn't good. it? <laughs> What's the point of having big windows if you can't see out them? <laughs> Weston's getting some meat out on the grill for dinner tonight. I just keep looking at this cute little arrangement here with the bunnies and the tulips. It's so sweet. And looking out our windows at the sunset. I can't believe it's staying light outside this late. It's 5.30 and we still have like legitimate daylight. This is amazing. And you know, you can't rush things, but when the mood does strike, oh man. I love spring decor so much. And I am so happy that I was able to get some of this decorating done. I love the little vintage touches that I was able to add and doing these cleaning projects with you guys and a bit of decluttering. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And I have lots more spring forward content coming for you in the next few weeks. Did you notice that you didn't see my pantry laundry room at all today? That's because it is a royal mess. Much more than a quick little cleaning session can take care of. Um, and so next week I'm filming a messy to minimal pantry laundry room with total declutter just in time for spring. And I hope to see you guys back for that one as well. Thank you so much for spending a little part of your day here with me on my channel and I'll catch you later.